Next, an update on a multi-million dollar sports complex in Rogersville that the homeschool sports nonprofit Lighthouse Christian has in the works. Joe Hickman has more on the project that was announced last year. While their most well-known program is their high school football team that's won five national homeschool championships, the Lighthouse Christian Athletic Program has grown from 23 football players in 2006 to 900 athletes from some 500 families playing in nine sports. They come from 50 different zip codes from central and southern Missouri to northern Arkansas. But as the program's expanded, there's one problem that still exists. When it comes to homeschool athletics... We have no home. So one of the biggest challenges that the organization faces is a place to practice. Hosting a game isn't as critical as a place to practice. All the homeschool teams have had to scramble to find practice space. I know baseball, simply mowing out a flat grass field as best they can, you know, in a pasture. And the national champion football team has been in the same boat. They literally have parents uh, with their cars lined up with their headlights on so that the kids can practice when you get into October, November, you know, when it gets dark so early. But this coming school year for the football and soccer teams, that nomadic existence is over. New practice fields in Rogersville next to Highway 60 are the beginning of what will be a new home for all of Lighthouse Christian sports. It's on 25 acres of land across the street from Fellowship Bible Church, who's leasing to Lighthouse Christian land that is now just a gravel road with brush and the practice fields. But this area will be the home to phase one of the project, a football and track stadium with bleachers, concession stand, and parking. Other phases include baseball and softball fields and a field house with courts for basketball and volleyball, plus a weight room and locker rooms. The estimated cost for phase one alone is 4 to $5 million. And since fundraising started two years ago during the pandemic... And we've raised over $800,000 to date. I don't think I would have thought that was possible, but it has been. And so what does the future look like? What is the timeline? I am hopeful that we can get this thing done in the next five years. But Haynes admits that because homeschool families are spread out over hundreds of miles with no brick-and-mortar centralized school, when it comes to fundraising... I definitely think it's tougher for the homeschool community than it is for the public school side. We're an entirely volunteer-based organization, so if you would think of an athletic program that's bigger than Kickapoo as far as athletes, and it is run entirely by volunteers, it's because you have a heart for these kids and you have a heart for the Lord. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.